spot in this next black. He's going to have to play some sort of cannon on the next red. See it back for choice of blue or pink. Oh, that's a beautiful shot, just top side of straight. We risk trying to bring reds into play. I think he's got quite a big angle on it, but cue ball should hit that loose red and then power into them. It's just whether he feels, as I say, the cannon on the loose red. Might just take all of the the pace out the cue ball, so he may not be getting into them as fast as he'd like. You see it, it hit that other red, and he just about got it through. What a shot! Sixty, which has potentially set up a frame-winning break. Seventy. Yes, uh, he was worried about catching that loose red too thick, but uh, a beautiful shot in frame three earlier. Played a nice shot in the pink and spread the reds, which was the kind of start of his revival in this match. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. This is the sort of form with which O'Sullivan won the English Open 44. three weeks ago. An event in which he made 11 centuries. 45. And achieved a 98% pot success rate in the final. Missing only six balls all day. Fifty one. Fifty seven. Fifty eight. He's a wonderful blend of technique and artistry. 
64. 65. The ripple of applause recognises that that was frame ball barring snookers. Not that there will be any attempt to play for snookers by the time O'Sullivan has finished. 70. 71. The fluency, the instinct to play the right developing shot. 77. 78. Outstanding features of O'Sullivan's game. 84. I remember a song actually in the 84. younger days. It was called the 900 number. 85. Sullivan's almost there. 92. The last red plus black gives him his 900th century 92. in competition. 93. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful. 100. 102. I've been watching Anthony Hamilton for almost all of this break, and he's sitting there just admiring. 105. Watching Ronnie breeze round the table, knocking balls in. He's enjoying it too. 109. An attempt to pop the second red by means of that cannon, or was it a misjudged safety? Yeah, I think it was the latter, Clive. That was misjudgment. Most unlike John. 1. Nine. Eleven. I mean, even Twelve. here, Ronnie. Deliberately working off the black and not the pink. He doesn't want to tie the pink up just yet. Nineteen. Twenty. Seven. Not amazingly well. 28. It's been assisted by a lot of mistakes from Higgins. 35. And if the chances keep coming, 35. He'll take most of them, particularly when he's well ahead. 36.
43. Forty four. Yes, he's given this full concentration. 51. One O's, as Clive mentioned, a five nil lead. You have to think. You're unassailable. Fifty two. Even for John Higgins. It's going to be 5 0. 64. The question is whether it's going to be an O'Sullivan century. 74. He did admit 76. to an ambition to make a thousand centuries before he's done. 79. If he could make one here, it would be number 897. 83. 88. 94. Twenty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-two. Thirty three. Thirty eight. Thirty-nine. 
Seventy-six, seventy-seven, eighty-three, eighty-four. One hundred and one. One hundred and five. Found the gap One. there. Five. Six. Well, the blue may go up into the corner. That would be a bonus, but maybe it doesn't. He's awkward on the brown. He's having to bridge over the red. The blue obviously doesn't pot. A little bit awkward, this.
Yeah, he's not really had the cue ball Ten. in any part of this break yet. He's been slightly off. Got to use the rest. This wasn't in the plan. This red. Excellent. Well, he's still at 16 seconds 18. with his average shot time, but funnily enough, with the balls all over the table, you'd think he'd play a lot quicker, but sometimes you have to think more than when you're around the black spot area. 19. Yeah, yeah, you're so used to the natural positions, aren't you? You're practicing all the hours you play that you know what's happening up the top end of the table between pink and black. And when they're spread around like this, it just needs a little bit more concentration. 26. I'm talking about records, John. I can, can't can remember a player playing four frames and not potting a ball in the Masters. That's a possibility at the moment. Thirty-two. Yeah, may have landed on the other red. Yeah, he's got this one instead. He can play on that one, but came on it so well that he decided to take it. Well, 403 points 38. so far. Mark has got five, of which he didn't score himself. Tough school, to say the least. If there was any consolation for Marco Fu, it would be he's going to the mid-session interval and it's the best of 11, so you can have a chat with his coach, uh, Terry Griffith's son Wayne, who's over from Hong Kong with Marco. You probably head to the 45. practice table because he hasn't had any chance whatsoever. just in, in the zone, totally focused. 65, 66. That is 2,000 people in the auditorium on here. And it's just got one to the snooker table. And it was a big red for Marco to take on in the middle pocket. 70. He knew it was fraught with danger. 71. And this is a massive shot to take on. From that minute, he's missed it. He's just had to sit and watch this. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Just the tricky red left side of the table 85. that might prevent him from making his third century in four frames. But he can bring 86. it into play here, looking at that angle on the pink. He can develop that red. <laughs> you want to bet? 92. Honestly, he's just absolutely 93. in the zone completely.
98. It's not possible to it really isn't. There's another century. What a treat you are getting this afternoon from the genius. 103. Well, he's up to 99% pot success rate. Incredible. 107. And that also might be a record to make three centuries and four frames in your opening match in the Masters. Tried to use <laughs> the jaw of the pocket to get up onto the pink there. Doesn't really matter if he doesn't knock this in, but the mood he's in. 112. Well, we've watched a genius at work here this afternoon.